Summit Elementary had this incredible foresight and foundation um, that was created by a group of teachers and Dr. LaPlante, and they had looked at lots of programs across the nation and what um, was beneficial and evidence-based for students. And one of the um, kind of concepts that was examined was the seven habits. Um, so that's Sean Covey's work, and they had looked at it in more of an educational concept of like why, what, what would happen if we started teaching these habits to students um, or to people as they were young children, as opposed to trying to teach them to adults. It made a lot of sense to Dr. LaPlante and the group of teachers, and so they utilized Leader and Me as their foundational concept. And it's both for um, you know social emotional, but truly it's the fabric of everything that Summit does. Leader means using all the habits to sharpen the saw and be kind. Being a leader means to be the right thing that nobody is watching and putting a good example for others. Well, um, in 2009, there was a small group of us that were tasked with creating a new elementary school in, some, in Casper. And so, in addition to choosing all of the physical things about the building and the academic curriculum, we wanted something different for behavior and social growth. And so, we read The Leader in Me and connected with it immediately. The Leader in Me is a way to um, learn principles that can guide your entire life, help you to set goals and accomplish them, and help you to really become the person you want to be. The leader means to be able to communicate with others well. You're able to get along well with people, and you make you can make good decisions and um, be proactive, put the first things first. Summit started, it was basically just this idea of a school. And um, Karen, she's retiring this year, but this is really her legacy that she leaves with Summit, is she said, hey, I found this really cool program called The Leader in Me, and it was based on Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Successful People, and, and she said, I think we should check it out. So at that point, we were, everything was like, the sky was the limit at that point, and we could kind of dream up, that team could dream up whatever they wanted, and this was kind of that um, social, emotional, and um, just foundation, basically, um, for everything that we would do at our schools. The leader means doing what's right when nobody's watching. As a uh, leadership team, when we were building this elementary school, part of our charge that was given to us from the um, superintendent was to um, build a school that would be an excelling school and would produce um, adults that were successful and well-rounded and that led really fulfilling lives. Um, so part of that is to start planting those seeds as children in all those same habits that lead to a fulfilling life as an adult are really the same habits that little people use. Being a leader means you pay attention to your teacher but first things first and you do your little things last like recess. Being a leader means like not doing the right thing when nobody's watching. Smile, smile, smile You'll have a bright, 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 happy day. The leader in me is a system, basically, of habits that you practice that help um, you as an individual, and then once you've perfected kind of those those first three habits, they work into interpersonal um, relationships. Even the very first habit is about being in control of your own emotions and, and putting some space between how I respond to every situation, and we call it choosing our own weather. Um, those habits build, and then they help us to be um, able to connect and in relationships with others, which if you think about going out into the workforce or just in everyday life, it's just a super helpful thing. We teach kids how to practice and think about um, living life with those habits in place um, so that they can be, I mean, highly successful is what the original you know, book was about, so. Being a leader means um, putting first things first, um, being nice, all of the seven habits and the golden word treating others the way you want to be treated. Being a leader in me school is um, part of who we are. 
It's part of our culture. It's what we really want the children to achieve for lifelong learning and lifelong goals. And so um, that lighthouse status was just another step to say we were on the right way. We could see the impact of how Leader Me um, focused and helped our children as they moved on up into further schooling and on into life. And Being a leader means helping each other, being responsible, being kind to others. It's the fabric of everything that Summit does. And so it's what we teach um, students on how um, we're gonna integrate the seven habits in our lives, but also um, as teachers and all staff at Summit Elementary, the um, expectation is that you know and you also live the seven habits. And so I think it's created a, this incredible fabric and in that it weaves into all conversations, into everything that we do each day. Being a leader means that you do the right thing when no one is watching. Being a leader means that you like stand up for people and you stand up for yourself too. So we always, one of the things that we do with the leader and me when we have any new staff come in, and especially at the very beginning, is that we were just trained in the seven habits. So those were personal skills first, and we reflect on those skills all the time. And then they're just kind of um, innate in everything that we do, and they trickle down to our kids a lot easier. And I think it, it means or leads to authenticity. Um, in an easier way because kids just see it in our building and so um, it really is everything that we do is about the adults practicing those habits first and then um, leading by example to our kids. Being a leader means doing the right thing when no one is watching and also being a good citizen to your community. Being a leader means being a good citizen and helping people. 13 years ago, 14 years ago when we were we were um, beginning to, this was just a vision. It wasn't even a, a brick and mortar school yet. It was just the idea and, and the seeds of this school. Um, legacy status wasn't even something that, that was a potential at the time. Like it is something that has grown and, and was um, a bar that, that was put out there after, after we became a school. Um, so it's wonderful to see like, I don't know what the next step will be when now that we're here, I wonder what the future looks like, which is such a wonderful um, place to be, to, to know that the future holds big stuff that we don't even know yet. Uh -huh.